All right. Just uh, taking care of a couple back end things. <clears throat> all right thank you all for your patience we are in the lobby ready to go so let's get to it all right it is going to be the post university eagles here today in blue kickoff is underway Round of 16 has started here at the ECAC playoffs. Right now, a little bit of early aggression coming in from BPC, but a beautiful block by Karamik. Going to clear the ball at about to midfield. BPC, though, going to be able to regain control of it. Uh, thank you so much for letting me know about the in-game audio. I will get that fixed. Should only take a moment. Yeah, there we go. All right. Appreciate you, Beauty Bomber. So about 40 seconds in. No goals just yet. The team's uh, really at the moment just kind of feeling each other out, seeing uh, what, how each uh, how each other is going to approach this. Shot comes in. Beautiful save again by uh, Karamik, who had that earlier one right at the top of the match. Ball gets contested in Post's corner. And it comes in for a shot, though. That's going to go in. Nobody able to get in front of it this time around. A uh, beautiful setup as well by Sol. Karamik was close. Just slightly misjud misjudged the ball. It was a great redirect coming in from Antic. So, this University now. We get to see if they can strike back. So actually, the ball into the air. Over towards the corner, Karamik now with a nice aerial dribble, but Sino going to go up. Into the air instead and find it. Pinch off the wall. Finds its way to Sol, but Plus is able to kind of knock it back. Karamik goes up for a save once again. Able to easily knock that one out. When he got a danger, Karamik now finds it about in the midfield. Nazmith goes up for it, but but it contests. The ball doesn't head exactly where they want it. Karamik back in control, but only for a moment as Antics comes in, swipes it away from them. Shot comes in once again. Uh, this time actually Nazmith in for the save. Right now, uh, Bruton Parker has done a great job of just kind of keeping the pressure on Post University. Uh, several shot opportunities have been generated right now from BPC. Not as many uh, so far, though, for Post. So Post needs to find a way to uh, kind of maintain ball control after they clear it down towards BPC's side of the pitch. And as you can see, yeah, it was briefly cleared, but BPC able to get back in touch with it. It's going to be another nice clear from post. Not a mole. Tries to get something going, but isn't quite able to once again. Nice shot comes in. Bit of a double commit right in front of the goal, but love to have that coverage. Rather that. Let a ball go in. Anonymal drops back from it. Karamik actually looking to follow up. Not going to be able to. Another nice shot. Another nice block there. Halfway through a game number one here. Bruton Parker College currently sitting at one to zero, and still Post University looking for uh, looking for I think one of their first opportunities. Double tap comes in, not gonna find its way that time, but the follow up is there, off the backboard. Bruton Parker sitting at two zero. Oh, Nasmith did a great job trying to get down to it, but not quite able to. Hmm. <clears throat> now post university has a little bit more ground to make up antics with a shot right off the bat anonymous huge save right there bounces off the crossbar another attempt at it sino tries to dunk it in beautiful shot to make it three the post university eagles this one's starting to get away from them a little bit they're gonna have to turn things up Kick off with two minutes left to go. 
Anamol finds his way out towards the midfield. Sino with another aerial approach here. Anamol going to knock it down, though. Finds his way in the corner. Nobody has good control of it at the moment. Gets cleared, but Sol able to keep it in play here. Nice disruption by Nazmith. Antics sends it back. Towards the goal, bounces off the top, off the backboard. Animal now trying to chase it down, seeing if they can wrest control for BPC. I think just yet. Karamik now looks for a flick over one of the op opposing players. Doesn't quite find it. Shot opportunity potentially here for Sino. They recognize the ball is going to go. Drop back for it. So there will be an Animal now who finds it. But that's going to be a nice demo coming in for BPC. Opportunity here. They take a shot. It's just a little wide. The follow up not quite there as well. An Animal now. Oh, opportunity, but the ball goes just a little bit wide. Post University can kind of keep the ball, though, in this area. They may be able to generate something that's going to be a nice redirect. Shot goes just a little bit wide as well. One minute left to go here. Post University struggling to find the shots at the moment. Antics drops back for the ball. It's going to be picked up by Nasmith. Shot comes in, but disrupted by Sol. Karamek with a golden opportunity right there, but BPC just proving too much at the moment. Put up a follow up there. Karamik forced to drop back to it. 30 seconds left to go here. Burton Parker College. Set at 3 to 0 right now. Been a couple of shots at these waning few moments. It looks like Post University's Post University starting to figure out this defense a little bit, figure out this offense as well. Another one comes in from Antics. That's going to put, I think, the nail of the coffin on this first match with only 60 seconds left to go here. Post University, if they can get a goal on the board, that'll be some great momentum that they can take into game number two. But game number one almost certainly going to be going the way of BPC. Kickoff finds the ball over towards the side. Nanamo goes up for it. Tries to get to Soul. Antics able to center the ball. Shot comes out from Sino. Beautiful block there, though. Three seconds. This one is going to be done as soon as the ball finds its way to the ground. And that will be BPC taking game number one. And unfortunately for Post University, weren't able to get anything on the board this time around. But it is only game number one. It's the best of seven. A lot of things happen during the course of a game like this. And yeah, we can uh, see kind of a difference in the, uh, just the shot differential, right? Uh, it was, what was that? 16, yeah, 16 shots on goal from BPC. Only two for post, and both of those actually, I think, came right at the end there. So, again, that's the momentum. If you're post, uh, post University Eagles fan, that's something you can uh, certainly hold on to here as game number two is underway. Post University definitely looking strong in those last few moments. Nice shot comes in from Anonymous. Start things off from Poe. Karamik looking to follow it up, but Sol gets in the way. Here comes Nasmith, though. It's a little too much in the way from a defensive standpoint. Anonymous drops back a little bit. Try and keep it in play, but Sino right now looking to see if they can clear it. Nice centering pass there. A little too quick, though, for Nasmith to be able to catch up with. Again, though, they're going to try and knock something in. D big redirect from Antics. And just in a flash, BPC is able to turn this around. Very heads up play. Very, very quick um, adjustment to the situation, to the pass coming in on the clear. So once again, Post University finds themselves down. 0 to 1. But the offense looked a bit looking stronger here so far in game number two. Sino now with an aerial approach. Looks to get the flip reset. Doesn't quite make it. So now Nasmith with an opportunity. They're going to try and dribble it in, but Antic's able to jump over the car. Disrupted. Sino looks to center it. Anonymous keeping it kind of in this corner. Try to disrupt anything that BPC wants to do. Nasmith now looking for a clear, but Soul keeps it in play for BPC antics. Nice disruption there again. The clear from Nasmith too, but Antics gonna send it back down. Once again, this is uh, this is the point where we need to see Post University. Not only clear it, but maintain control. And this is a good opportunity here. Nasmith uh, does just that. Karamik looking to center it. That's a nice bump away. That's going to allow Nasmith an opportunity to potentially get the ball on a point where they can take a shot. 
Sol tries to dribble it back down the field. Actually able to get a, over a couple of the post defenders. A little help from Antics. Gets it out in front of the goal. Now Karamik. Did he contest? Ball gets center, but Anonymous able to pick, a, pick it up. Nasmith finds it right after. Now Sino trying to just muscle their way through his post Eagles defense. A little bit of an overcommit to the ball right there, but post university getting around him. Anonymous with an opportunity, but going to be denied at the last moment. Another redirect comes in from Seoul. BPC looking to potentially for another quick turnaround, quick goal. But it's not going to happen. Ball gets cleared. Seoul going to drop it into the midfield. Anonymous just misses that touch. Shot comes in. I believe it's actually deflected that time by one of the members of BPC. This time, Karamik gets in the way. Nasmith able to drive it down the side, but Sino stops that. Two and a half minutes left to go. Post University still waiting to get a goal on the board. BPC so far has a shutout across seven and a half minutes of play. So the defense so far from them has just been phenomenal. It's a nice redirect from Seoul. Barely keeps it out of the goal. Anonymous looking for an opportunity to center it. Nasmith comes in. Fortunately, Anonymous gets in the way of that shot. It's an unlucky trajectory. Now, Post University actually forced to drop back for this ball. They want to make sure they keep it out of control of BPC. Anonymous sends it back to BPC's corner. But they're just going to ping pong it right back towards them. Ball in the midfield. No clear control over it, but Seoul able to catch up to it. We get to center it. Shot comes in. Anonymous in the way once again. Minute 40. Still plenty of time for the Post University Eagles to put a goal on the board, but they're going to have to beware of this pinch coming out from Antics. Nice block there once again. Karamik looks to keep it in play for Post. Nazmuth sends it back down once again to BPC. Is it going to pop off the backboard here? And Karamik once again sends it off the backboard, but Nazmuth just a little too far behind, and the demo kept one of their players out of it. Open that opportunity. Antics knocks it in. Two to zero now. Here for Bruton Parker College. Post University Eagles again. Got a lot of work. A lot of catching up to do here, but they can do it. This is a squad that has faced adversity before. They've been down and out. They've been able to fight from behind and bring back a win for Post. Oh, that could have been a nice double tap right there. Shot goes in. Antics makes it three. And this is interesting. BBC seems to be a squad that just kind of turns it up in the waning minutes of uh, these games right here. Nazmuth almost able to get in the way of that shot. But a beautiful setup nonetheless from BPC. And there's seven left to go. See if Post University can get something on the board here. Start to turn this game around. It's all going to send it off the backboard. Dix tries to center it. Soul with an opportunity. Beautiful read, though, on the situation by Karamik. Anonymous going to be able to clear it a little bit more and trying to chase it down as well, but Soul going to get there first. Able to actually take a nice shot on it. Unfortunate play right there. Karamik goes for the block and is looking for the demo afterwards, but it's going to be Soul that gets in their way. So... Find ourselves back in a familiar position, unfortunately, here for the Post University Eagles. Yeah, this one might already be done. Not officially, of course. But this gap is going to be pretty hard to make up. So, again, just hoping Post University can get a goal on the board. Take some of that momentum. Again, I feel like they have looked a lot better <clears throat> in this game. Despite the score being the same, they've definitely had more opportunities on goal. Now, pressure has been put on a little bit more by post as well. Shot comes in. Sino making it a 5-0. And BBC, though, right now, it looks unstoppable. Their offense is firing on all cylinders. Their defense has been phenomenal. And when the ball gets into BBC's side of the pitch, uh, Post University just having a hard time maintaining that pressure, keeping that ball over there. That's going to be something that they're really going to have to look to change here as we... Move towards game number two. 14 seconds left to go. This is one the Eagles are just going to have to shake off. Reset the mental. Try again in the next one. The Bruton Parker College, though, looking looking absolutely phenomenal. This is a, this is a team 
that you cannot take lightly. Couple seconds left to go. Karamik looks to put one in. Shot goes just a little bit wide, but a nice opportunity there. Nasmith just going to drop it. Give that one over to BPC again. Match score now sitting at 0 and 2. And yeah, we can see that uh, the, uh, the Eagles actually had significantly more shots on goal this time around. Um, very happy to see that improvement and that adjustment. Uh, unfortunately, BPC for the post university Eagles, just a little bit more on top of things. I mean, one thing you do have to say though, is honestly the, the defense for the post Eagles is fantastic. Yes. Six went in, but I mean, look at the number of saves, 10 saves, um, on the board here for the post university Eagles. So they just need to find a way to transition, um, uh, transition from the defense into an offense just and, and in addition keep the ball in the offensive uh half of the field so hopefully we can see that happen the adjustments have been made to an extent from post just need to see a little bit more coming our way as we get loaded into the next match New five minutes on the clock, fresh scoreboard. And the game is underway. Karamik following it up. Antics with a goal right off the bat. What a read on the situation. I'm gonna knock the ball over into the corner. Just barely missed by one of the post defenders. And the Eagles, once again, gonna have to fight from behind. There's going to be 11 unanswered goals here from BPC. So they certainly have to be feeling confident right now. They have to be feeling good about their chances in this series. But a long clear going to give some opportunity here for Post to try put things back together. Nice contest there by Anonymous. Karamik now trying to get to the ball. But they have to give Antics possession momentarily. Nasmith going to be able to clear it. Karamik rotates back towards the goal. Antics, once again, kind of keeps it in play here for BPC. Demo comes in as well, so an opportunity here, but Anonymous able to clear it. Nice heads up play from them just to get the ball out of the way so they have time for their teammates to respawn. And Asmuth able to successfully contest that ball. Or Sasino to drop back for Karamik once again. Just to get a dribble towards the goal, unable to keep it in their control, though. Nasmith tries to find something too, but it's not going to be there beautiful save there from Karamik just hops the ball straight up into the air so looking to see if they can find a way to redirect it but Karamik's gonna be there to deny that opportunity they get the demo as well so they should be able to get this ball over towards the other side of the pitch Alcino finding another opportunity Nazmuth not quite there and again BPC sitting at two to zero and that's a this is one thing that BPC does very very well just these very quick turnaround goals from uh, the defensive side. They're able to clear it in such a way that uh, their their teammates, it's a pass, right? It's a pass that's just beautifully set up for a shot and for a goal. Now Sino with possession of it at the moment. Nasmith, though, able to wrest it from them as so the team comes back to support. And unfortunately, none of the defenders going to be there for Post University. They play a little too far forward. A little too aggressive. And Anonymous just not able to catch up with Antics. He's able to gently guide the ball into the goal, make it a 3-0. A little over three minutes left to go here. And I have to say, this is, this is honestly just a terrifying squad in BPC. Um, and an unfortunate misjudge there to let another one go in. So four to zero. It'll be the score here in game number three. And it almost feels like is every time, every single time that uh, Post University kind of ups their game, right? We see them bring in more shots, see them uh, bring in more opportunities. They're putting more pressure on the ball. And BPC just finds a way to elevate themselves as well. So Post University doing everything they can here. They still absolutely 
have what it takes to come away with a win here today. And overconfidence, that is one of the biggest killers that a team can find. You get overconfident, you start playing a little sloppy. So post-university, they are not letting up. They're not going to let go. Two and a half minutes here. Antics with the ball at the moment. Driving around the midfield. Karamik with a nice pinch off the wall. Nanamo looking to keep it in play. This is the kind of pressure that we want to see out of the Eagles. Sano looks to get a clear. Antics is going to be able to pick it up as well. Karamik. Anonymous looking to follow it up right now. That ball's going to take a nice bounce, but a great demo from Antics. Shot comes in from Karamik. There's a goal. Post University on the board here in game number three. Beautiful shot. Beautiful follow up. Great judge of the situation. Love to see it. That's the kind of momentum. That's the kind of confidence boost that these Eagles need here today. So let's see if they can follow it up with a little bit more here in game number three. The ball just gets pinched right up into the ceiling. Like, nice flick from Karamik as well, but the demo's going to come in. They won't be able to follow up on it. Some nice defense coming out here from the Eagles. Antics, though, going to keep it in play. Karamik to follow it slowly up the wall. Soul trying to get something going as well. They're going to be able to send it. Animal, Anonymous, rather, to try to get in the way, but Antics hits a nasty shot from the side. And the, the cut on this angle, I think, was tremendous. Let's take another look at it from this perspective. Yeah, that was just a beautiful redirect into the goal. Karamik's almost there as well. That was a, 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 a great defense as well from the post-University Eagles. And Anonymous going to be able to come away with first possession here on the kickoff. Soul finds the ball. Karamik trying to keep it in play for post. Anonymous comes in as well to be able to disrupt that possession. Nice redirect as well from Anonymous. It's going to force one of the defenders back over towards the goal. Antics now. Tries to find it clear, but they're not going to be able to. Post-University keeping the pressure up. That's going to be a nice bump from Karamik as well. So Anonymous to be able to get the ball in play. Shot comes in, but it's all going to be able to redirect it out to the side. Now Anonymous bounces it off the wall. Going to be able to center it. Karamik should be able to clear this. Instead, they're going to go for a dribble. But Antics is able to wrest it from the top of their car. Uh, Nazmith actually just edges out Antics. A beautiful aerial dribble to start to put some pressure on BPC here. But Seoul going to have an open goal situation. Antics able to give it a little bit of help into the net. 6-1 to one here. Post-University Eagles. This is when they need to really buckle down here and bring it back. They've got some momentum. They have one goal on the board. Let's see if we can make it another here. 53 seconds left to go. Kickoff got to go the way of BPC Nasmith. Though able to get control of it right afterwards. Anonymous goes up towards the ceiling. Unfortunately, just misjudges it slightly. This ball will fall back down, but Karamik able to center it. Nasmith goes in for the shot, but just a slight misjudge. The timing of that means they aren't able to get behind it. Sino looking to get control back towards the midfield. Soul does the same, but it's going to be Anonymous who comes away with an antics, gets in the way. Nasmith now. Centers it. The follow-up. Not going to be there. So Sino is able to clear it out to the side with 15 seconds left to go. Once again, Post University going to have to look to the next game. Find some success. Find a way back into the series. Because after this, it will in fact be 3-0 to zero overall scoreline here. BPC is on match point. One game away from punching their ticket into the round of eight. And post-university, the only thing bringing them back now is going to be a reverse sweep. But again, look at this. This is actually really good progress to see. Um, there were only uh, 10 shots on goal this time from BPC. Uh, the post-university Eagles, they got five on the board again. But I think the big thing is just the number of shots this time. Uh, that weren't taken, rather, by BPC. So every single one of these games, the Post Eagles are getting better. They are getting stronger, and they are slowly figuring out BPC. But now, they have run out of time. They have run out of buffer. It has to happen now. And they have to come away with four wins in a row to keep their playoff hopes alive here in the ECAC. As we get ready to run into this last game, 
Uh, or rather, game number four. The Eagles. Have an opportunity. To bring it back. Some themselves to the round of eight. So five minutes here. Post University backs against the wall. <laughs> the reversals through specialty, says Shocker. Absolutely. And here we go. Game number four is underway. Reverse sweep for the Post Eagles. Going to start here as Anonymal has possession. Sino going to be able to clear it. But Nasmith finds it in the ceiling. Soul able to take it down underneath. A beautiful save there by Karamik. And yeah, uh, the Post University Eagles, right? They're aware of this uh, style now that BPC plays, right? This very quick turnaround uh, from a clear, able to generate these shots. And so their defense is there. Their defense is ready. Nice clear coming in from Anonymal. Antix has to do everything they can to catch up with it. It's going to be Nasmith who redirects it. Shot comes in. Post University Eagles have their first lead in the series here in game number four. Going to come at a more clutch time. And now, post University Eagles, they just have to hold on to this lead, see if they can put a little insurance on the board. Antics, though, firing on all cylinders, makes a beeline towards the goal. Karamik gets demoed, but the Eagles are able to kind of clog things up long enough for the uh, respawn to come in. It's going to be a nice uh, clear as well from Karamik, but Sol going to be able to keep it in play. Ooh, ball. Fortunately for the Eagles, passes harmlessly in front of the goal. Karamik goes for an aerial dribble, going to let it go, though, and see if Nasmith can pick it up. Uh, but Sino does some great acrobatics in the air to keep control in favor of BPC. Notable drops back for it, but it is going to be cleared by Karamik. So, coming away with it now. Looking for a double tap off the wall. Nice redirect. Antics able to follow up. They're going to tie the game at one apiece. So, Post going to have to put another one on the board. And let, let's look at the shot, right? Because that was um, a beautiful attempt as well at a, at a double tap. Didn't quite make it in, so... One of the other players from BPC able to follow it up and knock it into the net. 3.45 left to go. Playing a time here for Post University to reclaim this lead. Karamik is going to try and contest Antics, but unable to. Post University able to get the disruption in there via Nasmus Sino. Finds the ball, but Anonymous able to come away with it. So tries to clear it. Actually going to be redirected midair as well by one of the players from BPC. Sano deflects that ball back into the corner. It's going to be Karamik who finds it in the midfield here for post. Antics drops it out to the side. Anonymous looking for an opportunity here, but the demo comes in. Great heads up play there by BPC. 50. Going to send the ball careening towards the ceiling. Anonymous skating around the defense beautifully, but doesn't have quite enough boost to get there before Soul finds a way to clear it. Get it on top of the wall. Send it over towards the net. Nasmith now redirects it into the corner. Antic's going to try and pick it up here. Karamik looking for an opportunity to disrupt. But BPC able to continue to center the ball. Shot comes in. Nasmith going to be able to clear it. Another center. But this time there's nobody to follow up here from BPC. So sends it back to one of their players. Sido misses it in the air. So an opportunity here for Post to get control. Karamik able to get it around one defender. Looking to get it around Soul as well. They're going to be able to pop it out to the middle. Anonymous though says, I've got it. Don't worry. We're still in this. Post University tried to put the pressure on, but Sino falls back, takes a shot at the goal. It's going to go a little wide. Soul looks to pop it out to a teammate. Antic sends it back down. Again, some great defense coming out here from Post University as Nasmith looks to wrest control of it again from Sino. And they do just that. Nasmith now driving it up the side of the pitch. Well, gets to the way. Anonymous sends it down. Again. Nice shot comes in, but Soul. Able to keep it out of harm's way for BPC. Now looking for a uh, you know, dribble towards the goal. They get disrupted by the defense here from post. Anonymous looking for an opportunity to clear, but Antics redirects it. Shot comes in. Karamik denies. Nasmith able to get the clear as well. And so, forced to drop it off their own backboard. That's going to allow Anonymous to get control. But only for a moment as once again, the demo comes in. And that's been a hallmark as well, I think, of BPC's play. Is once... Oh, shot's going to come in here. But Karamik able to clear it. They do get demoed in the process. BPC actually playing a very physical game here. Several demos over the course of this series. Middle left to go here before we head into overtime and post. Their defense... 
has shown up in such a huge way. The offense as well. Shot comes in. Barely denied. As Karabek now forced to drop back for the ball. Keeping it out of harm's way. Sino looking for an opportunity to center it, maybe. Nice defensive play there by Nasmith to disrupt that possession. That's going to get Post University another opportunity. Here is Anonymous driving it back down the pitch. Karamik looking for a centering opportunity, but Sol able to knock it out. Harm's way. Nasmith, though, reads the situation. 50 goes straight up to the ceiling. Sol able to come away with it, though, and actually gets around one of the defenders as well, but not Karamik. Sends it back down towards BPC side of the pitch. Nasmith. Now starting to play a little bit physical as well as Antic looks to redirect it into the net. Karamik gets in the way. Nasmith keeps it into that corner. 18 seconds left to go here. Either of these squads can put a goal on the board here. That could be the ending of this game. Otherwise, to overtime and sudden death, we will be headed. Nasmith tries to center it. Five seconds left to go. Sol has the ball in the possession. Sino sends it back down towards post side of the pitch. That's going to hit the ground. Overtime. Here we come. First team to score a goal here is going to come away with the win. Post University fighting for their lives in this series, in this tournament, in this season. Antics drops back for it. Nasmith gets a read on it, able to bump Nasmith out of the way. See the ball keeps in that area. Nasmith sends the defender back. And now beautiful play there from Anonymous. They're able to get the demo as well. But BPC is really keeping the pressure on right now. It's going to be Karamik able to center the ball. Only one player on the defense back for BPC, but they are able to slow things down a little bit to let the remainder of the players catch up. Now Anonymous off in the corner. Sino able to pick it up. Going to try and dribble it down the field. Nice redirect. They get around one defender, but not a second. Anonymous comes in. Looks to pass it off. Karamik tries to take a shot. Ball gets centered, but Sino is there. Karamik looking to get control back over it. Nice. Boop by Nasmith to get it up into the air. Look to drop it off the backboard, but Antics gets in the way. Nice centering pass coming out here, but Sol's able to pick it up from BPC. Antics coming in for a shot. That is going to do it. BPC tonight comes away with a 4 0 win over the Post University Eagles. What a showing, though. And what a season for the Post Eagles. It has been fantastic getting to watch this squad all year. Of course, wish it could have lasted a little bit longer for the Eagles, but that is unfortunately the way things are going to end for them here today and for the season. But again, what a phenomenal run they have had. Love to see it. Anytime you can make it into the playoffs, uh, you got to feel happy about that. And Post University just all in all has a wonderful esports program. Uh, and it has just been a joy to cast for them over the course of the entire fall and spring so thank you all so much for tuning in here today uh thank you all so much uh for being a part of it and for coming out and supporting your post university eagles um and i i, I really appreciate it thank you all so much thank you to the entire post university uh squad denny all of the teams thank you all so much ggs and see you next time